guys, um, today I've got a pretty epic haul for you because I filmed one haul and um, it got deleted and I recently bought a few more bits and pieces so I thought I'd just do one epic haul and try and remember what I hauled the first time um, as well as the new stuff so this is more stuff that I would normally buy in one sitting, this is not one shopping trip, it's several um, but I wanted to haul it all because I know some of you guys really really like haul videos I really like watching haul videos so this is what I got I'm going to start with nail polish because there's a substantial collection of nail polish to the side of me um, first of all, I'll kind of go in chronological order um, it all started with this Nicki Minaj for OPI collection um, which when I first originally filmed this video I had on my nails, annoyingly ah, annoyingly I've since got rid of all the packaging and things so I can barely remember the names of everything I think this is called what is this called? this is the only one I really can't remember what it's called can't remember what it's called but I have done a blog post on it and if I can remember I'll link it below I'm sure you already know because you know there's tons and tons of blog posts and stuff about it everywhere um, this one I love and it's called Fly but it stained my nails really terribly so although I will probably use it again I'm really going to need like a really good base coat this oh, is definitely my favourite, this is Metallic for Life and this one is Pink Friday so they are the ones that I got that were part of the Nicki Minaj collection I'm getting a little bit obsessed with these little minis from OPI because I got a tiny little one in a glossy box a few months ago and I realised I'm never really going to go through an entire um, nail polish unless it's something that I absolutely desperately want and you can only get it in a one single form I'd rather spend the money of one nail polish, or just a little bit more than the money of one nail polish, on four different colours. So I also bought the Holland, um, what is it, the Holland Collection? Yeah, Holland Collection by OPI, um, and it says Dutch Treats. And I can tell you what these were all called because I have them in the box still. We have, I have a herring problem, red lights ahead, I think this is Kiss Me On My Tulips, and this is Pedal Faster Susie and I think they're really really sweet I mean these are fairly basic colours there's no way on this earth I'd have bought these from OPI full size because I think you could get them from the drugstore a lot lot cheaper uh, pretty much a dupe colour whereas these two are a bit more special this I really like a really gorgeous grey with some shimmer shot through it and this is a, a kind of a, a lilac with some shimmer through it so I'm looking forward to watching those but I haven't even opened them yet because I've just got them today and um, the other nail polishes that I got were an absolute steal. I've mentioned Dazzle in Doncaster before, and it's in the French Gate Centre in Doncaster. Lots of people ask me questions about it. I don't know if it's a chain. I don't know. I don't think that it is. But I visit this shop every now and then just to see what they've got, and you wouldn't even believe what they had the time that I went this week. Um, Sally Hansen Complete Salon Manicure for one ninety nine. One ninety nine. So obviously I've had to buy every single colour that I had. I'm pretty sure the colours they had are all discontinued, which I don't really care about at all because I've thought of buying these so many times, but they're only, I think it's $6.99 or $7.99 from Boots, and I just think it's not really worth it um, without knowing that they're really, really fantastic. So I thought even if it's just to test the formulas of the different ones, then it's totally worth it. So, you know, I ended up spending more than the $7.99 that I'd be grudged paying for one in Boots. Four. So the colours that I got were Camellia and on second glance when I've got this home I've realised it's a really sheer formula, one of those ones that I really dislike because unless you've got really really nice nails underneath which I very rarely have because I've always got nail polish on so they get a little bit yellowy and stained. Um, so yeah this is probably going to be, I don't know, given away to someone or whatever. I haven't swatched it yet but I just know it's going to be that kind of formula and that's Camellia. Um, the rest of them I'm really pleased with. This is Casting Call, which is what I have on my nails today. My nails aren't freshly painted, but I've got to say, no top coat, no base coat, and I've washed, I've done some washing up and whatever, been in the bath, blah, 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 three days, and no chipping whatsoever. They're showing a little bit of wear, but I am so impressed with those. Um, the formula is really, really great, and I would consider paying full price for them, but I'm glad that I tried them at this price. Um, Eel Skin, which is this kind of blue-gray and the last one is Delphinium which is a lilac and we all know I love purple and this lilac colour is beautiful ooh my nails, my hands are so dry all of me has just got so dry over these winter months, it's horrible um, and I got two more nail polishes from Dazzle 
because again, they were on sale. And these Revlon scented nail polishes only came out last year, so they're not even that old. It's not like they're like uber old and really discontinued, but these colours were so beautiful, I had to have them. And again, they were $1.99. I got Peach Smoothie. This was the first one that I got. I don't know if you can see um, the sparkle. I'm hoping that my camera is focusing and it's just such a really, really blurry video. If you didn't notice, I'm not using the same camera that I have been using. I've been using my SLR and at the moment I'm back to using my bridge camera, which is my Nikon. Um, it's the Nikon L100 Cool Picks or whatever it's called for anyone that wants to ask that question. Um, and it was always better for filming with because I could kind of pick up and do it and I didn't have to focus it and it always focused and generally it would focus when I held something up to the camera. Um, the only reason I haven't had it is because my Rechargeable batteries for my camera have been in Milo's sound machine for his nursery. So I went out and plumped and went and bought some new rechargeable batteries today which cost me like £11. Um, but I will be filming on this camera again because I just, I'm sick of it not focusing when I put things up. So hopefully, I haven't got it on like a random setting um, and you can see the shimmer in that and it is just totally, totally beautiful. It's like, oh, it's like a, a creamy nude maybe slightly peachy colour with a gorgeous shimmer all the way through it. And this one Lee loved, it's called Effervescent Opal and it's like a pink with a lilac blue iridescent shine through it. Amazing! So I'm loving those, totally, totally, totally loving my new nail polishes, um, but I don't think I need to buy some for a while because I went a little bit crazy. Um, and I've got so many more things in front of me, I'm so sorry, this haul is going to be so long. So I apologise for those of you that hate long videos, but for those of you that don't, you're going to love this. It's Friday today that I'm filming and I have another video that I've already pre-recorded that I was going to put up um, next, but I think this is probably a weekend video because it's so long, uh, so I might put this up tomorrow, Saturday. Um, so yeah, the next video that goes up probably won't be in sync, because I remember in the video that is yet to come up, I was talking about a haul that had been deleted, so that was the other haul. I'm rambling again, I'm sorry. Okay, anyway, um, next I'm going to talk about skincare. I know I've talked about this in my skincare routine video already, um, but I picked it up and I haven't hauled it. Uh, this I am totally, totally loving. It's the Youth Code Serum from L'Oreal. I know they've just brought out a brand new one, so this was in the sale, uh, but I thought I'll try the old one, see how I like it. I swear to God, my skin has never been smoother, but um, the problem lies in that I tried too many things at the same time and I cannot 100% tell you that this is the thing that's made it smoother because I also started using this, which is the Peach and Clean 4-in-1 Wash Off Deep Cleansing Milk from Silk and Glory. Um, I can't tell you that it, it's not this and I'm kind of tempted to believe it could be this because although it's a cleansing milk, it's not milk at all, it's a thick consistency, it's more like a lotion for your face. Um, and it's just oh, it's so amazing. Um, totally, totally love it. It smells like fresh mint. Really gorgeous. Not like chewing gum, but fresh mint. Um, like a mojito. Anyway, um, it's got glycolic acid in it, so it's actually an exfoliant. Um, so I'm using this with my Clarisonic, which perhaps might not be the best idea in the world, but it's working for me so far. Um, I bought this to work with my Clarisonic because I'm sick of my laser oil. It's too thick and kind of dry almost. It's not creamy enough um, to be used with my Clarisonic, whereas this really, really is, and I can't tell you that it's not this that's making my skin smooth. I think I'm going to have to stop using one of them, but I'm, I don't want to, because I don't know which it is that's making it smooth, and I love them so much. Um, so yeah, I bought those um, on another <laughs> tangent. I bought those. Um, any more skincare? Oh yeah, I also bought this finally, because everyone kept telling me I needed to. When people keep saying, vitamin E skincare, hot cloth cleanser, you need to go and try it from Superdrug because it's so cheap, it's like 3 99 I thought, okay, finally, I'll go to Superdrug, I'll go and buy this amazing hot cloth, clen hot cloth, hot cloth cleanser that everyone keeps telling me I need to buy. Um, and I got it home, and I can't believe the size of it. It's absolutely huge. It's 50 mil bigger than the biggest um, Lizelle one that they did at Christmas time. They normally just do like 100 mil, so this is amazing. Um, having tried it a couple of times, it smells like sun cream, that's my first um, impression, it smells like sun cream, and um, I was generally just using this on my eyes, mainly because I've been using the other cleanser on my face, so I was looking for something to replace Liz Earl, um, basically just to take off my eye makeup, and this, is, this leaves a little bit more of a residue, so I think this takes a little bit more work to actually get it off. But it works much the same way, and for what I want to use it for, which is to remove my eye makeup, it, it does work. Um, but I am going to use it throughout 
my face. <laughs> I'm going to start using it on my whole face to actually review it for you guys. Um, but yeah, eventually, because I'm so in love with my new soap and glory one at the moment that I just can't, I can't bear to part with it. Um, but I picked that up, and because it's three for two, I also bought two of these, which is the all over body lotion. I went into Boots to go and buy a new Righteous Butter from Soap and Glory, and I saw this on offer, and I was buying the Hot Cloth Cleanser, and I hate to miss a three for two, and I thought, screw it, I'll just buy this, because it was two ninety nine, I think, for a tub of this, and three ninety nine for that, and um, I thought I'll give it a go, and I really like it. It smells quite nice. It smells faintly of shea butter. Very faintly of shea butter. Um, but it's, you know, it's a pleasant smell. It's not an overwhelming smell at all, for those of you that don't really like scented things. Um, it just kind of smells like a lotion. Um, and I really, really like it. I do. So I would consider buying that again. And I've got two massive tubs of this for such a cheap price. So we'll see how I go with that. Um, what else? What else? What else? Oh, and the hot cloth cleanser obviously does come with a cloth. It's pretty much exactly the same as the Lizelle one does. So a new one of those is always welcome. Um, oh, something else. I'll talk about a couple of things that I got a while ago um, that I have already reviewed on my blog again. Uh, because I've had them for a while and the other haul got deleted. Um, 17 Miracle Matte Foundation. Really, really like this. Um, I don't know if I've done a review on my YouTube channel yet. If I haven't, it will be coming up. Um, I say I've already done like a before and after and a full review on my blog. Um, and the Soap and Glory Kick-Ass Concealer. I got this because in my Big Splendor kit, it said spend more than £10 on Soap and Glory Cosmetics, which this was £10. Um, and get 200 points. I am obsessed with boot points, completely obsessed. I've even recently joined that Treat Street, um, which I will link below because for any of you that are collecting boot points, if you do not already use it, you need to. Um, I joined Treat Street, which basically means that anywhere that you shop online, a little thing comes up and it says you can collect boot points. So I, I can't even believe it. I spend so much money on very.co.uk. So I have bought my camera, I bought our bed, I bought Ella's bed, I bought most of our Christmas presents. Um, it's like absolutely crazy and I could have been getting boost points so since I've started using it through eBay and all these different things then you know I've accumulated them a lot quicker but I will definitely link that below because it's probably amazing amazing um, but this is what the Soap and Glory concealer is like a lot like the Bobbi Brown corrector it's basically got the peachy colour for under your eyes and the yellowy base for um, other kind of blemishes and stuff really really like it I haven't used another concealer since I got it really like it it's also got a powder on top there like a finishing powder which is quite fine and brightening I think um, but it kind of bugs me that it's there because when I open it up that's the first thing that's there and I sometimes struggle to get that up and I've scratched into the powder a little bit because I've been trying to open it up but whatever I got mine in light which obviously I would because I'm very very pale um, and they are not light shades so it just goes to show that they are actually correcting colours as opposed to concealers the same colour as your foundation would be. I would definitely recommend that you give that a go. Um, what else? Today I went to Asda and I picked up some things. A lot of the stuff that I have left is Asda stuff. Um, I picked up some things. The first thing I picked up was this Mitchum Advanced Control 48 hour strength and protection on perfume deodorant. Very exciting, not really, but I'm working out every single day now and I am doing Zumba twice a week and I just feel like I needed a little bit more hardcore deodorant. Um, not to say I'm smelling this, but I felt like I needed a little bit more protection. Um, and I thought if I use this now, because it's unscented, we can share, Lee and I, I generally get unscented deodorants. Um, if I use this now and it's good, then I'll get one of these and we can share it when we go to bed because we don't need two big deodorant cans. Um, cause you know, it's going to be warm and clammy and stuff. So, um, we're going to definitely need to take some deodorant to Vegas. Um, some other things that I got again for travel, cause I've been meaning to pick up some like travel size stuff. And I know we need to make some lists of cosmetics and toiletries and things that I need to take with us. Um, but these are just kind of what I could think of on the fly. And that is the Miracle Moist Shampoo. The reason I've got two of the shampoo and no conditioner is because I'm taking with me a tube of the macadamia hair repair or whatever it's called, the mask. Um, and I'm going to use that as my conditioner. So I bought those because I use quite a lot of shampoo and I thought I'll get two lots for the week. And I also got coconut ice cream, shower and bath gel. I'm going to smell this actually. It's quite disappointing. Oh, I really don't like that. 
Well, okay. I thought it was just going to smell like coconut and it doesn't. It smells sweet. Mm, I don't like that at all. I'll give that to Ella. That's totally the kind of scent that Ella would like. But I really thought it was going to smell coconut in like holidays. So I thought, oh, perfect for holiday. Not so much. Anyway, um, I also got this. I saw this. And I've never seen this before. I have seen um, some straightening kits, but I've never seen the one from Gotta Be. It was t five pounds. And it says there's two steps to smooth and straight hair. And as you know, I've got quite wavy hair. And I've been trying quite hard to um, avoid straightening irons and things. This is the first time today that I've used straightening irons um, for quite a long time, like weeks. So I thought I'll give this a go because it says it lasts 10 washes. And if I give it a go this week, then it will have worn off by the time I go on holiday because I want my wavy hair by the time I go on holiday, I think, because it's kind of easier to just style it like that in the heat. Um, but I'm very interested to see what this does. And yeah, I will definitely be reviewing this. Whether it works or not, I'll definitely be reviewing it because I've got very, very kinky wavy hair. Um, and if it works for me, then I can't say it'll work for fully curly girls, but it will definitely work for those of you that have got waves. Okay. Okay, crisis averted, the ironing board fell down, you know. Felt like the sky was falling, or at least it sounded like that, but it wasn't, the ironing board fell down. It's okay, hopefully it's not broken, because, you know, Lee needs that to iron my clothes. Um, next, next I got this, Tea Tree Facial Spa. I love face masks, love face masks, but sometimes they're such a pain to actually take off, and this is like a paper one, so it's got all the, like, the nutrients and stuff all soaked into it already and you cleanse and wash your face and do whatever steam scrub whatever you want to do um well not scrub because you scrub after that um and then you just like place it on your face and this one is tea tree because i feel like i'm getting some blemishes i'm getting some just here and just here and just here and i don't know if they are hormonal breakouts or what but it's driving me nuts so um yeah i thought i'd get one of those um oh a couple more things that weren't from alistair this, I should mention that the reason I got this is because I got this and a nail polish which I don't have with me because I forgot. But I didn't like it anyway. It's called Wave. The colour was nice but it chipped after like half an hour. Um, 17 Shine Control. Da -da -da. So nice. I would never in a million years have tried this had it not been 3 for 2. And they hook me in with that 3 for 2 every single time. Saw this, I thought, I've got to review that because it's brand new, never seen it before. Um, so I reviewed that on my blog, was really, really pleased with the um, feedback and I really, really like it. But again, I'll review that separately. And um, so I would never tried it, I would never tried this if it wasn't 3 for 2 and I really, really like it. Still like my Rimmel Stay Matte, but if I had to repurchase one at the moment, this one's winning. This keeps me matte even with my Garnier BB Cream. Amazing amazing and I would never have tried it. Um, this I got this month free with Elle magazine and the reason I got this is because my friend Styles O'Coy, and I will link her blog below if I remember, um, did a blog post on it and she said you get it free with, with this um, magazine, really really love it, blah blah blah. Still haven't managed to try it, I keep meaning to when I haven't, um, but it's called Thick and Fast and it's from Soap and Glory. Worth £10 and it was free with Elle magazine and it is like £4 per magazine. But if you, even if you only bought it for this, then you're still saving six pounds. But I quite like the magazine. Although this month it was all about the adverts. I suppose they've got to make up for giving something away for ten pounds. But there were a lot of adverts this month in L. Um, two more things, I think. I think we're nearly done. Okay, next, the naked palette. Now, technically, technically, I didn't buy this. My mum bought this for me for my birthday. Well, how could I not haul it? I was going to do a birthday haul. I asked on Twitter if I should, and people said yes to a birthday haul. But I hardly got anything. And I don't mean that in like a bright, I didn't get anything for my birthday kind of way. Um, I didn't really get anything like that you would want to see. Um, you know, I don't think birthdays are that big. We, we generally go quite big at Christmas, and we tried not to last year. Um, and kind of succeeded so we're trying to go like smaller on things because you really don't need to spend an absolute fortune Christmas and birthdays for your family so um, I got this and I got some colanders I'm pretty sure you didn't want to see the colanders um, and Lee bought me a necklace which again I blogged um, but there wasn't a lot of um, kind of exciting interesting stuff that you would want to see so this is kind of my birthday haul in that I got this love this how beautiful how beautiful is this? I'm tempted to take this away to Vegas with me because although I love it and 
Um, if you want, I will do a comparison of the original. I think there's so many of them out there, I haven't done it yet. Um, but if you want me to, I will do a video comparison like everybody else has. If you want to hear my kind of two cents on it. Um, again, I have already done a comparison on my blog. If you actually want to follow my blog, then it is always linked below. I don't mean to keep mentioning it, but it's literally... I blog like several times a day, especially now I'm at home all the time. It's like constant, it's my stream of consciousness, my blog. Um, so yeah, if, if ever you wonder about anything, it's more likely to be my blog on my YouTube channel than my YouTube channel because anything that's here is there plus. Um, so yeah, I've already done like swatches of everything and a comparison of the two, but I totally, totally love this. It's so beautiful. Um, but I haven't used it that much yet and I think that's because I've been going back to my Naked Palette 1 um, just because I, I know it well and I know what suits me and I know what goes together and I think I'm going to take this on holiday the packaging is slightly more robust it comes with a little brush which is nice um, but I think it will force me to really get it tested on the open road if you will um, if these are the only eyeshadows that I take with me not that I'm not going to buy more because let's face it I'm probably going to do a little Vegas haul whilst I'm over there um, being Sephora and all that. I'm more excited about the drugstore makeup than I am um, like the high-end Sephora makeup. I'm excited about stuff that we can't get, like CoverGirl and stuff. Um, but yes, I have the Naked palette finally. I wish I would stop rambling because this video is like 25 minutes long, I'm sure. Um, lastly, I think, kind of lastly, there's one extra little bit, is this. Not beauty related at all, but I've so wanted to buy this for a while. Um, I've nearly finished the I Heart Paris book, um, and obviously I needed to buy this. I couldn't even believe it. When I first bought I Heart New York, it was because I Heart New York. Then it was I Heart LA, um, and then it was I Heart Paris, and I thought, oh my god, I really wish that she would do an I Heart Las Vegas because I love to read about the place that I'm going to before I go. Um, and lo and behold, her next book was I Heart Las Vegas. So excited! Um, so I'm going to finish the Paris book as soon as possible. I've been holding off buying this because I thought if I get this before I really get into the Paris book, I'm just not even going to read it, I'm going to start reading this one. Um, so I've really got into that now and I'm probably halfway through and I'll finish it in the next couple of weeks because I just don't get a lot of time to read. Um, all my spare time is spent with you guys. Um, but I am very, very excited to start reading that book and I'm hoping to get maybe like halfway through it before we go and then finish the rest on the plane. That's my plan. That's my plan. Um, but yeah, we've got like four weeks. I think it's four weeks on Sunday before we fly, so. Yay, I'm so excited. Um, but yeah, that's a whole series, so you can check that out. Gorgeous, brilliant. And the writer is actually a beauty blogger, which just makes me love her even more. Um, I think the last, 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 last thing, last thing, I can't see anything else on this table I haven't talked about, is my new phone case. This arrived today and it came from Hong Kong and I've been waiting about six weeks for it. So it's so beautiful. Um, I had to turn my phone off prior to making this video so people could have been like frantically calling me because whenever I have my phone in the room when I film, um, you hear the did did it did it did it did it did it And I don't know how other people do it. Like Juicy Star 07 is constantly, her phone's going off all over the place. Why does she never get the interference noise? It really irritates me that I always, always get that. I'll bet, even with this phone turned off, it's still done. Did it, did it, did it, did it, it, all the way through the video. Drives me nuts. Um, is that everything? Oh, and I have to mention the hair extensions because if I didn't mention the hair extensions, everyone would be like, what? Um, these are Halo hair extensions. Have I got the box? No, I don't think I've got the box. Um, Halo hair extensions. I. I'm going to review them. They're not entirely Hello Hair extensions that I've got in my hair. They are mostly hair, uh, mostly Halo Hair extensions. However, I have also got um, a couple of wefts that I already had of a different colour. They are a pretty good collage on their own, um, but I didn't want to... They just felt too thin. They're a really, really lovely quality hair, but I would probably need the thicker... Um, the thicker set and I thought 49.99 thought yeah it's fairly reasonable for online I don't want to spend like 80 pounds 70 or 80 pounds on hair extensions I just don't because my hair is not the same colour um all the time so I'm not going to spend that much money and not be able to wear them for a really long time so um I'm kind of disappointed that for that 50 pounds that I spent it didn't have all of the hair that would be enough for it to be a believable result 
Um, but luckily, bearing in mind I have a huge, extensive, um, an extensive collection of hair extensions on clips and whatever, um, I had some more that I could supplement them with. Um, so I've kind of laid them in there. But on the whole, I'm pretty pleased with them. And the match, I think it's pretty good. Bearing in mind my hair is really, really faded. I think it's a pretty good match. So, but I thought I'll make a video today now I've got them because I only got them today. And that'll be the true test as to how good a match they are because if I ever wear hair extension in a video and then I watch the footage back to edit and I'm like, oh my God, they look terrible. Why did I do that? Um, not that I ever refilm anything because I'm a lady. Um, but I'm not going to really edit any of this, it's going to be impossible to edit. So I'm sorry it's going to be really, really long that you've been sat there watching this video. Really, really long. Um, but I'll go now, I promise. And this will be the only video of the weekend if I put it up on Saturday. So you won't have to hear from me again, at least until next week. Um, but thank you for watching. If you haven't already, please go and subscribe. Check out my links below. Um, and as I said, I am always very, very active on my blog. And um, I've been trying to space out these videos so I'm not putting you a video up every single day on this channel because I don't want to be like, in your face, in your face all the time. Um, but I have been sporadically putting up a vlog video I put up this week and all my vlogs are now available to watch again because um, I did make them all private. But they're all up again. And a video of Milo's first laugh. Milo laughed for the first time yesterday and it is adorable. He hasn't stopped crying since then and he definitely hasn't laughed. But he laughed yesterday and it was really cute and there's a video as well on my baby channel which you can check out below. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video.